Good day, everybody. This is Dr. Nandi. I'm the guy behind statistics problems in 10 minutes. Okay. So today we are going to discuss a problem about conditional probability and general rule of addition of probability. So without further ado, I will share my screen with you. Okay, so here is the problem. A company manufactures soft drink cans. It was found that the probability that a can has flaw on its sides is 0 0.03. The probability that a can has flaw on its top is 0 0.02. And the probability that a can has flaw on its tops and sides is 0 0.01. Part A, what is the probability that a randomly chosen can has flaw? So we will first do part A. This will be the application of general rule of addition of probability. So probability that the can has flow on the side is 0 0.02 and probability that a can has flow on the top is 0 0.02 and the probability that the can has flow on top and side that joint probability is 0 0.01. So part A, as I told you, is the application of general rule of addition of probability. That is probability of side or top flaw, okay? That the can has flaw either on the side or on the top is equal to probability of side plus flaw on the side plus probability flaw on the top minus probability top and side flaw, the joint probability. Okay, so that is equal to 0 0.03 plus 0 0.02 minus 0 0.01, which is 0 0.05 minus 0 0.01 is 0 0.04. So it is a 4% probability that a randomly chosen can has flaw either on the top or on the side. Okay, on part B, it asks, what is the probability that a randomly chosen can has no flaw? This will be the application of the complement rule of probability. So by which I mean in part B, probability of no flaw is equal to one minus probability the can has flaw on the side or top, which is one minus 0.04 is equal to 0.96. That means there is a 96% probability that the can has, randomly selected can has no flaw, okay? In part C, they ask, what is the probability that a randomly chosen can will have a flaw given that it has a flow, flaw on the top? So what is the probability that a randomly chosen can will have a flaw given that it has already a flaw on the top. So this is the application of conditional probability, rule of conditional probability, which states that the probability that a can has a flaw, given that it has a flaw on the top, is equal to probability of the joint event, top and side flaw, divided by probability of tau. The conditional probability means the event T probability that is flaw on the top has happened, and then S also happens, okay? But first probability that uh, flaw on the top has happened, okay? That is the condition. So that is equal to probability on, of top and S flaw is equal to, is given already is 0 0.01. And also it is given the probability that a can has flaw on the top is 0 0.02. So the conditional probability of having a flaw given the can has already a flaw on the top is 0 0.01 divided by 0 0.02, 
which is equal to half equal to 0.5. Okay, so that is the conditional probability of a can has a flaw given that it has a flaw on the top. In part D, it asks, what is the probability that a randomly chosen can will have a flaw given that it has a flaw on the side? So what is the probability that a can, randomly chosen can, has a flaw given that it has a flaw on the side? So flaw on the side has happened first. So that is the condition. Okay, so and that by definition is probability of top and S side flaw, that is both top and side flaw, divided by probability of flaw on the side, which is 0 0.01 divided by 0 0.03, or one out of three is 0.33. Okay, so as I told you, part A is the example of general rule of addition of probability. Part B is an example of application of complement rule in probability. And part D is the application of examples or application of conditional probability laws or rule. Okay. So I will stop here today. If you have any question, you can always put a comment. Please like my video because I come back every week with new statistical problems that I solve. I try to help you out in solving difficult statistical problems. So please subscribe to my channel and please like my video. Again, thank you for watching. Take care and have a good day, okay? Please subscribe to my channel and please like my video. And I will see you next time with another problem that I will solve, okay? Goodbye.